So you can't just drill without knowing where, because it could be all messed up. So I need a tape measure. So tape measure. Plymouth came up with a plan to re-energize the brand. This time they gave you standard V8 power, standard dual exhaust with chrome tips, and they had new K-member isolation bushings for an even smoother ride. All of this for under three grand. It was a huge success as sales jumped back to over 19,000, which I think in 72, they were only about 7,600. This example here is one of just 4,400 340 small block equipped cars. It also sports cool options such as basin street blue paint, hood pins, exterior decor package including all the bright moldings, two-tone interior, special bulge hood, and the strobe striping. The last sticker on the Georgia plates are 1988, putting this car off the road for about 33 years. Let's get into the mods and get this car back on the road. What you doing? Taking the windshield motor out. Nice. What's happening over here? Filming for my channel. Oh, you got your own YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. Nice. Hey, some boxes came in for you in there. Let's go inside and see what we got. All right. So a few boxes for the Riding Roadrunner has arrived today, and we're going to see what we got. We got the eyebrow spoiler for the car. Keep it in the box until we're ready to put it on. What do you think? I I caught that mosquito. Yeah, you let us do that. So you don't just want to put holes in your muscle car because it's just gonna be all weird if you don't find the right place. So I need a tape measure to find out. All right. So. Hey, why don't I give you a hand so you see if it looks cool in any particular spot? All right. All right, move that drill out of the way. Let's see. Go stand a little bit away and see if this where it looks cool. Mm. More. More. About. Perfect. 
and we can tilt the angle once we yeah, set Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks perfect. Okay, well, give me the tape measure and we'll measure it up. Alright. Measure from the front to the pedestal. Alright, grab that Sharpie over there. Put a little mark right there. Alright, it's at 21 and a quarter inches. Alright. Same thing over here. And then we'll do side to side to make sure it's centered. Yeah. 21 and a quarter. Alright. Now, don't scratch the paint, bro. I'll scratch it if I want to. <laughs> so, let's see. We got about an inch there. We got about an inch there. Let's go off the edge to the center to your mark you made. So that's about 12 and 3 quarters of an inch. Yep. So grab the Sharpie. We need to move this one. Good? Yep. Okay. So now we know where the front of it needs. So grab the pads out. That pads. So these are Use some little plastic pads that it sits on. It also gives you a great idea where the holes need to be. Yeah, so let me mark the inside of where we want to put it. Let's just do... Alright, how about this side? Alright. Good? Yep, that seems good. Alright. You good with that side? Yes. All right, let me tilt you up a little bit. So, another good secret is putting the drill on reverse. That way, when you put it in your little dimple, it makes a spot and then you can flip it to forward and it won't move. So try that. Oh, it did. Good. Alright, now now you went through the first layer, right? Yeah. So now make sure you stay level with the plane of the trunk and go through the second layer. Hang on. That seems level. Well, the stud for the wing is going to go straight in, so there okay. you go. There you go. Alright, now drill your second one. Be good. Let's just see if they fit. So I got my trusty dusty key. Cause I ain't got no keys but the one inside. That was good. What's it look like inside there? It's perfect actually. Oh nice. So the next step is to put the studs in, or you can't put the wing on, because you kind of need those. So we're just going to put these... Get this out of your way, you don't need that. You don't know. I guess I'll do this side first.
What happened? Nothing. I was just waiting for that. How's your gaskets look? Um, Pretty good? Yeah. Alright, so we got the final installation. You can see the rubber washers, the, the crush nuts, and then the little protective caps. It's kind of funny how this ended up just in this reinforced section of the trunk. It doesn't require reinforcement brackets. Alright. See what she looks like. What do you think? So because it has... <laughs> Take two. So because the rest of the car is has cool patina, we're going to be using some... Well, we're going to be weathering it and using some... What's this called? Because the Ratty Roadrunner has such good patina, we're going to be weathering it with this scotch bright pad. And so, start weathering it. So when weathering, you just want to go back and forth with pressure and fast. And you don't want to go in a circle. So this is the finished product of the Go Wing. What is that? D I don't know. Look like that. a pterodactyl flew through <laughs> I know. Here. So, how, so how uh, how happy are you with the quality? It's really good actually. It's is it nice and sturdy? It's sturdy. It looks good. Now that we made it match the car so it's not all shiny all right so what's next stay tuned we got more cool stuff for this ratty roadrunner 71 and 72 gtx eyebrow spoilers so we're holding it up there of course just like any aftermarket part they don't really fit that great let's see where we got to trim it rusty all right let me see the markings so you can see the ends and the center all need to be trimmed out. And we found that out when we got this side installed. So, looks pretty cool. Little air dam. Give the car a little bit more character once the nose goes down about six inches. All right, there she is. The finished product. We got them on pretty straight and even. Uh, especially since they're designed for a different car. The 73 is much sharper on the corner here than the 71 and 72, so we had to grind out the middle. But uh, it's pretty good. You can see I put a bead of black RTV in there to seal up uh, the crack that you could see through, but when you get up to where you're actually going to be able to see them, you, you won't see none of that. We would have had much more video, but uh, I had to delete all the cussing and throwing tools. But we got there. You made it. I'm glad you're here. First of all, I'd like to thank every single one of you for supporting the channel, watching the videos, subscribing, supporting the Facebook page, which by the way, went over 500 members this morning. Uh, and I check every one of you. I know you're all legitimate car people. Um, We've only been doing this for about 30 days. Um, so far we've had about 1,000 views, about 40 hours of watch time on our six videos. We've also added almost 45 subscribers. Um, so we're really excited. We did not expect that kind of growth out of just a no-name garage. So uh, we really appreciate that. And to give back to you guys uh, for helping us out, we've got this $100 reloadable O'Reilly's gift card, but you're gonna have to work for it. Uh, I need to see 25 comments at the bottom of the video I load tonight of my son working on his Roadrunner. So tell us anything, tell us where you're at, tell us what you'd like to see us do with the cars, tell us what you don't like about the show, tell us you hate my haircut, uh, just, Give us some kind of feedback. You guys are not very chatty so far. Uh, I realize we have a very limited audience at this point, but uh, it's just gonna grow from here and we're learning as we go. So again, we'd really like to thank you guys for being here. Uh, I know this was a Mopar only episode, but uh, I always gotta throw the redhead in the background. So 
Hit us up on Facebook. Uh, give us some comments. Make sure you tell all your friends to subscribe. Um, we can just have bigger and better giveaways the bigger we get. So, again, thank you. I forgot. I forgot some exciting news. We have a real supercar coming in this weekend. I don't want to give any hints away, but uh, it's a legitimate supercar. I've never seen one up close. I'm looking forward to climbing all over it. He's going to let me drive it. Uh, we're going to get you up close and personal with a real modern supercar, so stay tuned.